with yesterday being the second anniversary of Biden signing the biggest piece of gun control legislation in the last 30 years, the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, the White House released some lies on the Second Amendment, and I want to make sure that you're aware of the blatant lies so that you can combat them when we try to educate our friends and family about the truth around the Second Amendment. Real quick, uh, YouTube's playing games. Subscribe to the channel if you love the Second Amendment, you love freedom, you love America. You'll find information about it here every day. Check your subscriptions if you believe you are subscribed. I've had a lot of people in the last 48 hours tell me they were unsubscribed, had to resubscribe. It's a thing. YouTube is uh, doing that thing. Uh, I want to thank the sponsor who makes this possible. It's CMMG. A lot of great things, a lot of great tools, different colors, sizes, shapes, chamberings. Use my code GNG10 to save every day on everything you buy at CMMG. Thanks to CMMG. Appreciate you. All right, let's get into these lies. We'll start off with what has been released by the White House. Now, according to the White House, more than 500 individuals, some they say are connected to transnational cartels and organized crime, have been charged with gun trafficking and other offenses under the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. So they're here to, uh, to you know, brag about this. But I'm going to tell you something which catches them in a blatant lie. Now, the White House claims that the enhanced background checks under the new law, remember that's for people under, one, under 21 years of age, and they claim they, they have blocked approximately 800 firearm sales to individuals under 21 who are prohibited from purchasing them. They're not saying how many have been overturned in court because they use information that isn't really applicable when you're stripping rights away from citizens, you know, it's a whole bunch of things. I've done videos on it. I'm not going down that path again, but it's unconstitutional and illegal. That's why some of them being overturned in court. Now, this report also notes that 14 states are using or planning to use the funding from the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act to improve the application of red flag laws, which enable law enforcement to remove weapons from individuals deemed in crisis. And as you, you might remember that the, the rhinos, I won't even call them Republicans, but the rhinos who were pushing this bill that got it to pass because it wouldn't have passed without their help, they were saying that we're going to have a due process requirement in these red flag laws and no one will get the money if they don't have the due process. Well, that kind of fell apart, didn't it? Because there's no such thing in due pro of, there's no such thing as due process in a red flag law because red flag laws are created to subvert due process. I've done tons of videos on those as well. I'm not going to get too far down that hole. Now, additionally, $85 million in funding has been awarded to 125 different school districts across 18 different states to help identify students in need of mental health care and assist them in accessing it. And that's what the rhinos were saying. This is a mental health bill. Yet, we've had people like uh, Tom Tillis and others say that that has never happened either. They haven't given the money to the uh, to the mental health side that they're still waiting for it. Which is why my buddy Stephen Williford, the hero, confronted John, John Cornyn about it at an event that they were at in Texas. They're touting it as a mental health bill, except they never did any of the mental health stuff. It's just going against guns. Shocker. Shocker. Now, uh, Joe Biden recently said, quote, it was designed to reduce gun violence and save lives. See, even he said it was to reduce gun stuff. And I'm so proud of the tremendous progress we've made since then. Now, Biden has said that the law didn't go far enough and continues to call almost daily for stricter background checks, universal background checks, which is a registry, and a ban on semi-automatic firearms and full standard capacity magazines. Now, they're also toting that Biden has created the first ever White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention and how he had his ATF issue new rules attempting to have these universal background checks on firearms buyers. He has also advocated for uh, firearm storage laws nationwide as well. They didn't say that <laughs> this is the first president who's ever had an office in the White House whose sole purpose is to go against the Constitution, the one thing he's sworn to protect. That's, that's funny how they do that. Those those communists. Now, the White House has also claimed that the conservative majority of the United States Supreme Court 
has expanded gun rights in 2022 with the Bruin decision rather than the actual truth, which was they stopped unconstitutional gun restrictions uh, by communist states. They took those may issue states and they are all shall issue states and of course there's problems with that as well now now some federal cases that have been prosecuted under this bipartisan safer communities act that they're toting as victories include a defendant that was sentenced to 23 years in prison for trafficking guns used in gang related shootings and another that was sentenced for two years for running an illegal gun trafficking operation funny they never went after the atf we're actually running guns into Mexico, but you know, again, what do we know? Now, also in March, five men were arrested in Texas on charges of trafficking military grade weapons, military grade weapons, uh, to a Mexican drug cartel. The charges on those cases they're touting include gun trafficking and straw purchases. Of all these cases they're touting as victories under the Bipartisan Safe for Communities Act, every one of the charges that those people have been charged with were already on the books. Trafficking firearms is already was illegal. Traffic, uh, you know, uh, straw purchasing was already illegal. Running guns was already illegal. Gang shootings already illegal. Murder is already illegal. What they're saying, because it's the second anniversary of the Bipartisan Safer, Commun Safer Communities Act, that they couldn't have done it without it. The, the truth is, they could have done it all along. They just decided to hold a few criminals responsible and they could just be doing that to every criminal and crime and shootings would drop nationwide drastically. But they don't want that. They want to keep their voting base begging for more government. Now, to that, they keep blowing smoke up the keisters of the sheeple knowing the sheeple will continue to eat it up, which is why I give you the information so that you will be able to inform others and check others when they spew these lies. Appreciate each and every single one of you. Guys and gals, as we get closer to November, it's what I'm reporting on is gonna get darker. It really is. And I know it sucks to have a, so much bad news, but we need to get the signal out. We need to shine the light on the darkness that these people wanna bring to our country. Let me know what you think down below. Appreciate you. Subscribe to the channel if you want more news. Don't forget tomorrow night live I'll be uh, adding commentary and criticism and fact-checking, which is the fair use doctrine, uh, to the presidential debate here live on my channel. Appreciate y'all. Take care.